In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of the Adobe Premiere Rush video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now on this channel, I show you guys how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe to this channel and let's begin this tutorial. Now I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry Android or iPhone users, it's the exact same tutorial, it's just a little spaced out. Plus I can now hook up a mouse so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm clicking on. So to start, all you're going to do is just start choosing the media you want. I actually have an album here called Video Editing. So I'm just going to select these clips here. You can also add your project name here if you want. And then when you're ready, you can click Create. So now we're in the timeline here. We can actually scroll through with our finger and take a look at all the clips we've added. Uh, if we want to rearrange these clips, all you have to do is hold down on the clip with your finger. And then you can just scroll over and move it wherever you want and then let go, and now it's in that position. If you need to add more photos or videos to your timeline, you can just click the plus button here. You can choose to capture the videos and photos from the Adobe app, or you can click media uh, and be able to import more stuff into your timeline. If you want to trim your clips, all you have to do is click on whichever video you want to trim. And if you just grab the far edge, you can actually just trim it right with your finger there on either side. Otherwise, if you want, you can line up where you want to trim, click the scissors button, which is going to split the clip into two clips, and then you can just delete the part that you don't want out of your timeline. If you end up accidentally deleting something you didn't mean to do it or you make any other mistake, up in the corner here they have a back button, and you can just simply click that and it'll restore whatever you did. So as you can see, I clicked the back button and now I've no longer split the clip and the old clip is back attached. If you wanna crop in on a video, like for example, let's say I maybe wanna zoom in here on this dandelion. What I can do is go over to crop and what I can do then is scale to zoom in. And then I can use the horizontal position here to line it up, vertical like so. And there we go, I have it lined up where I want it. And then I can click the button again here just to exit out. And there we go, now my video is cropped in where I want it. If you wanna add some basic transitions to your videos and uh, put it in between two clips, all you gotta do is click on this button up here, which is the transition button. And then you can add a basic fade and you can also choose the duration of that fade here. If you wanna add text to your video, all you have to do is click up here to this add graphic button, click add graphic, and then you have access to adding titles to your video. And as you can see, there are some pre-made ones here, like this subscribe one, which we can drag over the top here and have in our video. And otherwise we could customize one ourselves. So I'm just gonna delete this. I'm actually gonna choose this modern title and click add. Give it a second there. I can extend it by just grabbing either side of it and I can drag it out like so. And then if I want to edit it, I can just click on it, click on modern title, and I can start adjusting some of the effects for this title. If you want to change the text, all you have to do is double click on that text and you can then change it to anything you want. You can add shadows, different color effects to the text and whatnot. And if you want to get rid of this line, you can actually just uncheck it and get rid of it and not have to worry about a line being there. Uh, and you can also grab the text if you want, move that anywhere you want uh, on the timeline. So if you want it rather down there, or if you'd rather it up here, you can adjust the text and move it anywhere that you want. And then if you want, you can also click on the transition button. If you want, you could add a transition to the text effects so that way you can have it fade on as well as fade out. If you want to add music to your timeline all you gotta do is click the plus button up here choose media and then just go down to audio or your files if you have it saved to your files otherwise click on audio. There is some rush pre-made soundtracks in here that you could use if you want otherwise it's gonna to go to your Apple libraries ish area 
if maybe you screen recorded your screen and got a song off of YouTube and you want to add that, what you could always do is just click on a video. You could click this button down here, which will bring down the audio. And then we can actually click on this and click separate audio. And now we could use the audio from this video as our music. So if you do screen record your screen and then uh, watch a YouTube video with music in it and then you want to add that music to your timeline, you can detach the audio, drag it over your video clip and be able to have that audio over a different video. If you want to put a photo or a video over the top of another video, uh, what we can do is we can click the plus button and we can add a media element here. So I'm just going to go over to my camera roll and just add a photo of me. So there's that photo. It's really zoomed in at a moment, but I'm just going to grab it and slide it over the top of that video that I want it to be. So there it is up above. So then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in with my fingers. So that way I can extend the length of this a little bit. Come on. There we go. And then what I'm also going to do is go over to the crop area. I'm going to resize it. Grabbing here. I can shrink that image down. And then I'm able to move it anywhere on the timeline using the bars on the side here. And it's pretty much the same thing with a video. Just simply grab that video and you're just going to grab it. Pull it up above the other video and let go. As you can see now this video is on top of that video. And I can click the crop button again shrink the size, there's that video. And then I can also change its position. I can move it down and into the corner. Like if you were to do a reacting video to whether it's TikTok or YouTube videos, or maybe you just want two videos playing at the exact same time, you could do that as well and adjust the crop in a certain way where you can have both playing. If you wanna add filters to your video, you can go over here to the filter button and they actually have some fun filters here already that you can select. And then you can also choose the intensity of those filters to your liking. Once you've got the filters done, you can go over here and click edit. And you can also choose control the exposure, the contrast, you know, the saturation. Really customize your video and make it look professional. Finally, once you're done with your video, all you have to do is go over to the share section and click the export button and then export it out to your photo gallery. Now, if you want to improve your smartphone filmmaking skills, be sure to click on the playlist over here and learn how to film better on your smartphone. And thanks for watching this tutorial.